totally burning my fingers right now, by the way. This is gonna take way longer than I thought. They are organic cranini mushrooms. Not that that actually means anything at all. We butter the bread with butter. Fried bread. This is a huge baking sheet and I can't even get this all to fit on it, and we still have the beans and all the bread. All right, everybody, so here we are with this massive breakfast. So, you know, I'm trying to like, you know, not let it all cool off too quickly because I went and decided to sit outside because the lighting's a little better. Don't worry, I'll adjust the camera angle. Maybe this will be a thumbnail. Anyway, so yeah, so here in front of me, I have 500 grams of bacon, so just over a pound. I have a pound and a half of sausage. I have a, just over a pound and a half of eggs, uh, 12 scrambled, four uh, not scrambled. I have three pounds of potatoes, a half pound of mushrooms, a pound and a half of fried tomatoes. I have just over one pound of bread, uh, fried and buttered toast, and then I have two pounds of beans. Pretty sure that's everything. I'll put a total of the weight on screen. So I'm not doing that math right now. It's definitely pretty big, and if this goes okay, I will get some dessert going. So everything's pretty much also been twice baked, because while I was like making it, I had to put it back in the oven. So I don't know what the temperatures will be like, but uh, yeah, just gonna get started here because it's getting cold. All right, this could take a while. The timer, start it. You guys actually might uh, be able to, yeah, you can actually see the screen, I think, today. All right, well. That is some cold twice-baked toast. Whoa, you see that juice squirt from the sausage? You see how, look at that. The juice is pooling in the skim. I didn't break them. Not fat free. Tastes good though. Salt bacon. Quite a bit of food. So my first thoughts on an English breakfast. It's pretty cool. I've never had fried tomatoes before. That, the mushrooms and the beans, are really the only thing that make it a little different than North America. That toast is gonna be horrible. On it right now. I know sometimes they have um, things like called like blood sausage and stuff, but I couldn't find any, anything like that even at an international grocery store here. 
just went with very juicy, fatty sausages. Which I got a discount. Damn, there's so much grease in this. Try to get some of these uh, potatoes out of the way. Pop in the game plan. Because they're not as delicious as the bacon and the sausages. But now I think where that bread needs to go too. Dang it, I just realized I forgot to do like a pan over shot of everything. Shoot. Oh well. Sorry. Better lighting out here. This way out here, but I guess in the rush of try not to get things cool off too much. I forgot. And I forgot napkin. We are six minutes fifty seconds in. Basically a full loaf of fried and or cold buttered toast. This is the epitome of dry right now. Ten and a half minutes in. I'm gonna pretend you hear that bird? He's cheering for me. That's what I'm telling myself anyway. I need napkin. Maybe this will help a little bit. Just over 13 minutes. All right, meats and beans. Oh, look, you can see the fat, the, the saturated fats solidified on the bacon. Again, the other thing that'd be a little better warm, but I'm not complaining. I'm the one that decided to sit outside. I 
I will complain about not having napkins though. The beans are still kind of warm, which is nice. These cold sausages and bacon is not nice. It took way too long to cook though. Like an hour and a half. I'm not eating that. It's just a solid piece of fat. I don't care. Bacon is way better when it's warm. There's pieces like that that are pure fat. And when it's warm, it's melty and soft. My hair looks like rubber. Try not to eat tinfoil. All right. That's done. Looks like about 20 minutes, 50 seconds. So look at this, look, look at that corner there. That's all like the saturated fat, just solidified. It's uh, I'd rather not see that imagery of knowing what I just put in me. And I promise you, it is a lot better when it's warm. But everybody, that's pretty much that. You know what? I did mention dessert and I do have something for dessert. I was at the store, I remember I had to run to the store. And I literally ran. I didn't just like drive, I literally ran. They had like those little Pillsbury Easter sugar cookies on sale for like 94 cents, because it's after Easter. So I was like, oh, I'm gonna buy them. I don't even like those things, but I bought them because they bake in 10 minutes. So I figured if I had time after this, I'll go bake them. So let's go bake some cookies. Um, but I gotta go clean my hands before I touch my camera. All right, let's go inside. I got my, I didn't have to use them, but I had more like uh, butter spread and uh, where am I right there? I had ketchup, but I didn't have to use it. But uh, yeah, so I got the, Put the tray inside here, and come on. Sorry, this thing is loose, so I'll fix it later. And I'll show you the cookies I got. They also just turn the oven on, so it's preheating. People always say, yo, Joel, make something and record it. So I guess you're gonna watch me make, I guess we'll call it dessert. People probably wonder how I feel, like here's Here's the carnage. Can't believe how much grease and saturated fat is on that tray. That's honestly doesn't make me uh, doesn't make me want to eat bacon and sausages very often. But here we go. So Pillsbury Easter Chick cookies. <coughs> Excuse me. Instructions: Heat oven to 350. Done. Uh, place cookie rounds about two inches apart on ungreased cookie sheet. Okay. I'll put tin foil on it. Hope I don't regret that because I don't want them sticking or burning on the pan. Easy decorating, oh wait, bake. 10 to 12 minutes until edges are lightly golden brown. Do not over bake. Cool for one minute before removing from cookie sheet. I can do that. And last easy decorating idea. Roll cookie sides in colored sugar or candy sprinkles before baking. I'm not doing that. Tip. Product can be stored in the freezer for up to two months if placed in freezer, used by date, mark on package. Let's do it. So, as complex as this will be here, I'll crouch down so I can fit in the frame. I'm gonna open this up. Like I said, I really don't actually like these things. 
but I got them because they were so cheap. And that's apparently what they look like. These are supposed to be Easter chicks. And there's supposed to be 24 of them. And uh, they weigh just over two thirds of a pound apparently. There you go, that's what that's what Easter chicks look like, apparently. Or here, that's the shell, the pink on the bottom. Alright. So two inches apart. Okay. This is not two inches. These chicks are not properly social distancing. There we go. How to social distance, a lesson with Joel using cookies. These guys are social distancing. These guys are not. All right, he's going to the oven. So again, apparently 10 to 12 minutes. <laughs> I'm starting to heat up from that food, I'll tell you that much. Plus the oven though. So it is uh, 620 right now. 620. So we will check back in 10 minutes for some cookies. So it is 626, we got four more minutes. True story. I'll tell you that extra pressure in my stomach <clears throat> making my bowels want to move. But anyway, here I'll show you what the, uh, let's have a look at these things. I know you're not really supposed to peek in things in the oven, but. Okay, so they, uh, <clears throat> they're growing and rising. Apparently four more minutes, but I think it's gonna take a little longer than that. Well, I don't know. We'll see what four minutes does. So it's actually, 6.32. I don't know if the edges are golden brown yet. I'm gonna say they're browning. I'm gonna give it like 30 more seconds. I'll even just turn the oven off. Cause I know as soon as you take them out, like they really start to harden. So like right now, if I touch them, they're soft, but they're gonna harden super quick. By the way, this is probably the last time you'll see this beard. I don't really like a beard, to be honest. Some people say they like it. I don't really like it. My hair is getting super long, too. Look at this. You can, it, the top can, like, look how long that is. Well, I didn't even realize it was that long. I thought it was just, I even just noticed because sometimes I just have it. It looks funny because I had a hat on. I always have it kind of back like this. And sometimes I'll get a strand that'll, like, that kind of sit in my eye. But geez. That's long. Hashtag quarantine. Instructions specifically say, do not overcook. So, I won't overcook. Although, I don't know about undercooking. I think they need a, I do think, I mean, I don't know, the edges aren't browned. So, I guess I better wait again. All right, I took them out, but I'm calling BS on that 10 to 12 minute cook time. It's longer than that, at least in my oven. So anyway, maybe I have a bite of ice cream while I'm waiting. Ugh. I keep burping though, I taste that sausage and it just doesn't seem very, very enjoyable right now. Maybe something sweet will be a little better. Let's see, some pralines and cream. I've never had pralines and cream ice cream. I have vanilla ice cream with caramel in it. And pralines. So I guess this counts on the weight of the challenge. And those. 40 minutes since we started eating. Oh yeah. I mean, they're like kind of baked. And they're still soft, but they're still really warm. Yeah. I don't know why people like those. I don't really like them. I'll eat them, but I don't really like them. Let's go get set up. I'll eat these cookies. Pillsbury Easter chick cookies. I mean, they do actually look pretty much like pretty similar to the, the box.
we're still just a little warm. We're still make them better. But I prefer like chocolate chip or something. In all reality, since the clouds moved, lighting's better right here. I could have done the video inside. Might have made it more enjoyable. Oh. I'm filling up though. Mm. I'm doing the pants. Oh. <sighs> Very sweet. I do have a Mountain Dew Zero here. I don't know if that's going to help. It's just ultimately, it's very sweet as well. Well, so Mountain Dew Zero is new to Canada. It's been in the States for a while. If you're not familiar, it's basically just diet Mountain Dew. Or like it's a variant of diet Mountain Dew. It's a sugar-free, calorie-free Mountain Dew. But kind of like Coke Zero and then Diet Coke, it's the same thing. But it does taste a little different than the normal one, than the diet one. But it finally just arrived in Canada this week. It's been in the States probably at least since Christmas. Last two cookies. Ah. So that was a big English breakfast. I don't know how much it weighed. Maybe 12? There we go. I know about ice cream. I don't think I want any more. Ice so sweet. I'm kind of sick of sweet stuff right now. At first, the sweet was really nice. Because that breakfast was pretty heavy, savory. Grab those sugar cookies. Too sweet. Anyway, quarter of a tub of ice cream. That plus the breakfast. Hope you liked the video. I was a lot of food. I don't think I'm. Uh, I mean, I'm definitely not eating again today, but that was a lot of food. Anyway, English breakfast, pretty cool. Glad I got to finally got to try one or one similar to it. Uh, so yeah, hope you enjoyed as well. Thanks for the comments. Thanks for the suggestions of doing this video. And everybody, hope you're safe during this, you know, time at home. And of course, until next time, stay happy, healthy, hungry. And I'm eating. Oh, and don't do what I do. So, people are asking me, hey, Joel, what you doing at home for working out and all that stuff during this time of closure? And today we're going to kind of do that. I'll show you what I've been doing. Uh, I've been doing it every other day. I've been trying to go for at least a little bit of a walk every day. Because otherwise, you know, I'm spending a lot of time basically on my computer, mostly at home. Which is not conducive to being very active. So, I'm just kind of doing some stretching. I always recommend stretching. Then I'll do some, uh, some foam rolling with my little lacrosse ball. I'll show you guys that. Well, I'll call it foam rolling, but it's a... Uh, manual manipulation i'll show you guys that and uh yeah we'll have some fun definitely stretch it's good uh it's a good thing to do so basically i just take my lacrosse ball you identify areas of tightness maybe where you have a knot and you can use it on the floor theoretically you can use it just with your hand i'll take it on my hand my forearm and just roll it how I dig into my shoulders and stretch my neck out. A little more loosened up. Still gonna do some stretching. I hurt like a kind of been dealing with like a rib muscle injury right here. So it kind of can only do something like pull-ups and stuff, stuff that kind of be really extends my rib muscles and whatever, but yeah, right here. So I'll do some pull-ups, do some push-ups, um, I have some kettlebells, do 
some like bicep things and all that good stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I'll still do probably like, it's all body weight stuff basically, so just wax of volume. That's what we've been doing. I'm also gonna do some uh, push-ups on the stairs. Kinda give a bit of a different angle. I'm gonna do it on one leg, and then I'll rotate the leg the next set. Do some uh, bicep curls with the kettlebell. Kettlebell. I've been doing a sitting to put as little pressure on, or like strain on my kind of abdominal here as possible, abdominal slash rib muscle. So I'll just kind of exactly do that. Basically just seated kettlebell curls. And I'm just basically like supersetting all these, so um, I'll just keep this running, then I'll do some kind of, uh, I guess little lunges, I guess you could call them. So, yeah, as you can see me. So I'll just kinda do some lunges. All right, then the last exercise, uh, I don't know what you call them, but basically like tricep push-ups kind of against a wall, I'll show you. And as far as what we did today, so I did five sets of each, pretty much to, I'll call it like a almost failure-ish. I don't know what I'll do. So, put my feet back. Pretty much as far as I can. Sorry about the light there. Put my hands really close together like this. Kind of in front of my face. And it's it's this motion. It's like a down and up. So I'm gonna readjust myself a little bit, put them a little higher, put my feet a little further back, further back, your feet are the harder it is. And it's like it's a cresting push, so it puts more emphasis on your triceps.
Just like that. And yeah, so I'll finish up those, finish up the rest of my exercises, and that's about it. That's what we'll be doing every second day. I'm gonna try to go out for a walk. If I go for a walk, maybe I'll bring my camera along, show you guys some footage, and uh, that's about it. So 